Hi, I'm Hazel, and today we are taking a look at how to get the catch-up gear and collectibles from the Shadowlands pre-patch event. When you log in, you will be automatically offered the quest called an Urgent Request as long as you are of sufficient level. You do need to be level 50 in order to take part. You want to follow that quest line to unlock dailies and ice crown for the Argent Commendation currency, which we're going to use to get most of the rewards from this event. That brings us to catch-up gear. There are three distinct sources of catch-up gear in the pre-patch event. Number one is to collect the Argent Commendations currency and buy catch-up gear directly from the vendor. There is a vendor in Stormwind and Orgrimmar, there is another one at the Argent Tournament, and their stock is identical so it does not matter where you shop. This will give you item level 100 gear, which is equivalent to normal Nihilotha loot. It costs 15 tokens per piece, there's no rings, trinkets, necks, or weapons on the vendor, although there is a cloak, and you're going to get those commendations from the quest line, from the dailies, and then from turning in Scourge Stones. The second source of catch-up gear is to kill Ice Crown Rares. There should be one spawning approximately every 20 minutes in a set order, with the location showing on your map as a purple skull, there's also a zone-wide yell that goes out when it's about to spawn, and there's like a minute grace period between it spawning and becoming attackable, so you do have time to fly there as long as you see the yell right away. Those rares will mostly just drop Scourge Stones that you can trade for commendations and buy the first kind of loot, but they can also drop item level 110 loot of their own. That can include rings, trinkets, and weapons, depending on the individual boss, but the drop rate is not excellent and each loot table is specific to the boss, so this is a pretty poor way to get specific pieces of loot. However, every rare does give Scourge Stones that are equivalent to about three commendations, so this is a pretty reasonable way to farm that first source of catch-up gear. Then you have the chance to get lucky and get boss loot also. Um, I am using the Handy Notes Scourge Invasion of Shadowlands plugin to mark the rare spots on my map. Because they're on a set rotation, you're looking at a 6 hour and 40 minute gap between a given rare reappearing, so a bit tough to farm individual rares for their loot, but it is worth noting that if you're up for that, the rare Bronze Gem has a chance to drop a 34 slot bag. That kind of bag space in WoW is pretty rare. As far as I know, the only other 34 slot bag in the game is from the Mad Merchant for 500,000 gold. Finally, the third source of catch-up gear is the Nathanos weekly quest for a 115 weapon. You'll get sent there in the course of the questline, but you can head straight there if all you want is the weapon, it's in the Eastern Plaguelands. If you have done pet dungeons, you can use the Manipoof Strathholm port to get up there faster. Doing the world quest is a guaranteed weapon, and this has seen some hotfixes, so it should now give you loot for your loot spec. You get guaranteed loot from this once per week per character, so two total weapons per character. Moving on, let's talk about the cosmetic collectibles. There is one for sure new cosmetic collectible, and that is the Putrid Geist Battle Pet for 20 Commendations. This will only be available from the vendor during this two-week event, so definitely get it now unless you want to be buying it on the auction house from somebody that did. There's also this item called the Anti-Doom Broom, and this is an item, not a toy. I am kind of hoping that this gets hotfixed into a toy, so I will probably pick one up and stash it in my bank just in case, but so far seems to be just a thing. So for appearances, the new set to collect is the Argent Conscript set. If it looks familiar, it's because it is very close, but not identical to the BFA PvP Season 1 gear. An add-on like Can I Mog It will show you which pieces you know and what you need. The second category of appearances would be the loot that drops from those ICC rares. We have items with new names, but the appearances are identical to loot that was dropped by those bosses in their original instances. I would not stress trying to get every single piece of loot from all of these bosses because that sounds very hard to do, and you can get the same appearances from farming the ICC raids and dungeons. Third, the Nathanos weapons are also not new appearances. Those are Darkshore Warfront weapons, which you could also get from the Warfront itself or very rarely off of rares in Darkshore. However, for this one, because it's a guaranteed drop, Nathanos is a much faster source, especially if you have a lot of alts. You only get two chances per character, but folks with many characters are going to get a lot of weapon appearances quickly. There are more quests and dailies coming in week two that are going to give you even more commendations, so if you're struggling to get your gear together now, it should be a little faster in the second week. And you will get the Death's Rising Feat of Strength if you finish the entire campaign, including the stuff coming in week two. This event does not offer too much in terms of unique collectibles, which I don't really mind because it's such a short and limited time event, it seems mean to put a bunch of really cool stuff that's only available for like a blink in WoW history. My plan, I got the pet right away, I'm doing Nathan on all of my alts until I get the rest of the Darkshore weapon appearances, I'm probably going to grind commendations just to buy the Dread Gladiator cloth appearances that I don't have yet, but then calling it a day. While catch-up gear may be a big leap in item level over what a fresh alt might be wearing, it's not like required to level in Shadowlands, and all of this will get replaced while you're leveling to 60, so don't feel like you gotta get everything. Thanks for watching, happy gear grinding, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.